And about 600 million years ago, something really amazing happens. The ozone layer forms from the oxygen that has been released in the atmosphere. And it sounds like a small deal, like we, we talked about the ozone a couple decades ago, but it actually turns out that before the ozone layer existed, Earth was not really able to sustain complex multicellular life. We had single-celled organisms, we had a couple simple multicellular organisms, but we didn't really have anything like you or me. And shortly after the ozone layer uh, came into place, the Earth was able to sustain complex multicellular life, there was a Cambrian expo explosion of life in the seas, and the first plants got onto land. In fact, there was actually no life on land ahead of that. Another way to go see this is, this is kind of a chart of pretty much uh, most of the animals that you guys are familiar with, and right at the bottom in time is the formation of the ozone layer. Like, nothing that you are familiar with today could exist without the contributions of these tiny organisms over those billions of years. And where are they now? Well, actually, they never really left us. The direct descendants of the cyanobacteria were eventually captured by plants, and they're now called uh, chloroplasts. So this is a zoom-in of a plant leaf, and we probably ate some of these guys today, uh, where tons of little chloroplasts are still trapped in uh, contributing photosynthesis and making energy for the plants that continue to be the other half of our lungs on Earth. And in this way, our breaths are very deeply united.